Hi, my name is Chrissy Valentine, and I'm doing the reading log over the cyber award-winning book, um, Funny Bones. So this is a story about, well, it's a biography, so I, that's one of the reasons I chose it, is that I thought it was a really fun way to for students to read a biography. Um, it's about the life of Jose Guadalupe Posada, and they called him Lupe, in which he was a illustrator and artist, a very, very talented illustrator and artist who lived in Mexico. Um, he lived in a time where his country was ruled by a government that did not really give them the freedom of speech that he necessarily wanted. So there was a lot of things about his government that he did not agree on, as well as many of his other um, peers in his community. So um, as Lupe was getting older, he started working more on his illustrations and art, and he started making um, illustrations of, they were kind of like comics about the the, polit the politics and um, how the government was kind of just a mess and how he totally didn't agree with the politicians and how they were running things and it kind of poked fun at the problems in their government and some of these politicians ended up winning so uh, Lupe was a bit worried about where he stood with the government so he decided to move to Mexico City when he moved to Mexico City he started working really hard on his illustrations he opened his own shop and he started making um, calaveras which are like skeletons and these became very popular on Dia de los Muertes, or the Day of the Dead. And they're still very, very famous, and he, that's one of the main things he was known for. He would make these uh, calaveras in many different ways, wearing many different outfits, being many different people. And it kind of leads to a message that he was trying to give, that it kind of portrays in the story that, you know, under everything, we're all just calaveras, we're all just skeletons. So. He kind of said that about the politicians, it's like, as as powerful as you might think you are, as better as you might think you are, in the end of the day, we're all the same underneath. Um, how much money you have, how popular you are, how, um, you know, just anything, any person ends up as a skeleton or a calavera at the end of their time. And that's one of the things that's celebrated in the Day of the Dead is, you know, celebrating those lives, but understanding that, you know, we're all just we're all just calaveras at the end of the day. Um, and the illustrations in the book itself are very Mexican culture, Mexican styled. They kind of give that idea of a time in Mexico during like the Mexican Revolution. I think the illustrations help to bring about that feeling and sense of a time when Lupe was living and was doing these illustrations. Um, I think it's a wonderful biography for students to read because it's a lot of fun. It does have engaging photos, illustrations to keep children engaged. Um, it's very enticing. It's exciting to follow. We want to know what happens with Lupe, how his illustrations and pictures, you know, influenced others in their lives. Um, and we're even still dealing with some of this today. You know, a lot of times our governments aren't giving us the freedom we want. People are getting prejudiced against and so on and so forth. So I think a lot of us can relate to some of the feelings Lupe was having when he was making these illustrations. Um, I think a great activity, especially for the younger students, would be kind of to make their own calavera, come up with a story of who they were and what they stood for. And it can either be a fun one or a serious one. Uh, for older children, I think it would be fun to do the same thing but instead of discussing it as a group it would be like a journal entry about their own calavera so that is my reading log for funny bones it's a great story and thank you very much